Yo, what's going on guys? Anthrodix here. So today I have a new video that's Hillary Clinton versus President Donald Trump in a 2020 presidential election rematch. I'm not saying Hillary's running, but there's a lot of reports out there that she might be, especially if Joe Biden continues to fall off into second or possibly third place. If that's true, expect Hillary Clinton to maybe look at jumping back in. And you know what? Crazier stuff has happened. So let's just assume she does run. She gets the nomination. This is how I think the election would go. So I think Hillary will win the West Coast. I think that's pretty much set in stone. I don't think that's going to change. In New Mexico, I think it's actually going to be close. I would give that in the lean column to Hillary. I think Trump actually could make a play. Alaska would be safe. Arizona, I'd put in the lean column for now. Utah, Wyoming, Idaho, the usual Republican states along the L. I'd put Nebraska's first district in the lean column. Kansas, Oklahoma. Texas, I would have to put in the safe column. I don't really see them ever voting for Hillary. Especially if they didn't do it the first time around, they're not going to do it the second time around. Bunch of these Republican states. Georgia, I'd put in the lean column. North Carolina, I'd also put in the lean column. Hillary's going to win all these eastern states like she did last time. I don't think she's going to do drastically worse than before, but she's not going to do like any better. Okay, and also give her Illinois. Okay, so, and New York. Wow, I missed a lot. All right. Okay, I think that's it. All right. So Trump starts at 206. Hillary's at 188. So I think Hillary will still win Colorado. I think that'll be close, but she'll, uh, she'll still win it. Nevada. I think President Trump very well could win Nevada. However, I think it's going to be very, very close. We haven't seen a Republican win it in a while. They always overpoll Republicans. There. I'm going to put Nevada in the tilt Hillary column for now. Iowa, I think it's going to be likely for Trump. Ohio, same thing. Florida, I think goes in the lean column. Virginia, I'm going to put in the lean column this time because I don't think he'll, she'll have Tim Kaine as a running mate. Could be Tim McCall, uh, Terry McAuliffe, the governor, in which case that could be likely, then you never know. Uh, Maine at large. Um... Main at large, I'm going to put in the tilt column. I still think Hillary's going to win it. I think Trump's going to still win the first district, though. He'll win it probably by a lean margin. Now, on to the Rust Belt. Trump, I think, is going to win Pennsylvania by a lean margin. He's going to win Michigan this time by an even bigger margin. He'll win Wisconsin, and I think he'll actually flip Minnesota, put it in the tilt column. Trump will do better than he did in 2016. I think he'll also win New Hampshire by a tilt column in this scenario as well. If Hillary runs again, that'll be a disaster for the Democratic Party. There's no way that that's gonna ha that could actually help them out. Actually, you know what? I think Trump's going to win Nevada. Forget my early thing. I think Trump's going to win Nevada in this scenario. I think it's going to be an electoral blowout. The Democrats are nominating a candidate that lost last time in an easy, very easy, winnable election. She couldn't do it then. She can't do it now. With the enthusiasm from the impeachment, Trump and the Republicans are going to blow Hillary and the Democrats out of the water. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.